Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will talk about 7th segment LED display, how it works and its LabVIEW simulation. In my next video, I will interface 7th segment LED with LabVIEW using NIUSP6008 data vision card. So let's get started. A 7th segment LED display looks like this. It is a digit display unit consists of 8 LEDs, 7 for digit and 1 for decimal point. They are available in various shapes and sizes and also in different colors. These are the 7 LEDs for digit display purpose and this one is for decimal point display. Each LED is in the unit are called segment hence it is called seven segment display as a whole each segment has a specific name like a b c d e f and g a single seven segment unit has 10 pins each segment has one dedicated pins one pin for decimal point and two pin common pins. The internal connections among the segments inside the unit is like this. Here the cathodes of all the segments are connected together and making a common cathode for the whole unit. So it is called common cathode seven segment display. And in case of common anode display, all the anodes are connected together. A single 7 segment unit can display numeric digits between 0 to 9. To display a digit, we have to turn on some specific segments. For example, to display 1, we have to make segment B and C to be turned on and all other LEDs to be turned off. To display 7, we need to turn on the segment A, B and C. Like this, we can get any digit by turning on and off some of these specific segments. This can be done by giving a logic high signal to the segment for common cathode LEDs. And for common anode LEDs, we have to give logic low signal. We can give the signal directly to the 7th segment or through a BCD to 7th segment decoder ICs like CD4511 or LS7447. We have to use 7 data lines to give signal directly to the 7th segment display but if you want to interface the 7th segment LEDs through a decoder we have to give only 4 lines to display digits greater than 9 we have to use more units in multiplex fashion let's come out to the lab here section and see how we can simulate the 7 segment display in LabVIEW. Open a new VI in LabVIEW. Here the objective is to display each decimal number between 0 and 9 like a 7 segment format in the front panel. For that we have to design a 7 segment LED display in the front panel first. So take a square LED from boolean indicator palette resize it and make six copies of it then arrange it like a seven segment display
Then take a menu ring control in the front panel to give the numeric digit that we want to display. Then click on edit items and click 10 times over the insert to insert 10 items from 0 to 9. Then against each value give the item name 0 to 9. Now the digits from 0 to 9 are in the ring and the objective is whenever we select any item from the ring it should be displayed in the 7 segment. So in the block diagram there must be a case structure which will do that work. For each case, we have to turn on and off some specific LEDs. Connect the ring control to the conditional terminal of the case structure. In each case, we have to put two boolean constants, true and false, to make the seven segments on and off. Like this way, add 9 cases and for each case, carefully connect the segments to the true-false constants as per this chart shown below. Put the code inside a file loop for continuous execution purpose. Now run the VI and see what is happening. Change the digit from the ring. Yes, it is displaying in the 7 segment. It's working as for our objective. In my next video, I will interface the real 7 segment unit with LabVIEW using NI USB 6008. That means a real time display.
Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.